Hello friend, welcome back. Now we have added support in test case studio pro version for the shadow DOM as well as for iframe. iframe it was already supported. Now we have added shadow DOM support. So now uh, going forward when you will be recording test cases or any scenario in test case studio pro version, you will be able to it will be able to in fact record the shadow DOM actions as well like any action performed on the shadow DOM elements it will be able to capture them earlier it was not able to so what you have to do simple nothing extra you will have to do everything it will handle internally so like for an example on this page suppose uh, these elements are inside shadow DOM so uh, as usual you were doing like you just have to click on the logo and you just start your recording like this let's say we want to do something here uh, we want to enter some value here so these are some of the regular elements and here let's say this is the uh, uh, elements which is inside server DOM so let me just enter let's say Sanjay.Kumar here pizza name let's say uh, cheese pizza we will enter and okay so this we have entered now you see that these elements are inside shadow DOM so how it has been recorded by the test case studio you can see that here we have open website then we press shift key and all then enter Sanjay into this enter email on top we have entered and then we entered Sanjay.Kumar into enter name then we entered cheese into this enter cheese visa field so you see that these two fields are the shadow DOM fields how you will get to know that these elements were inside shadow DOM under xpath column we are showing this information that this element is inside shadow DOM and for such elements xpath won't be uh, support so basically from this column xpath column you will get to know that this these elements are inside shadow DOM otherwise it will just like a plain English normal sentence it will uh, record your statement as in like uh, in plain English sentence as a test case so this way it will be able to handle any kind of shadow DOM so this was the very simple shadow DOM which I just showed you guys so again I will show you what you have to do simply you just uh, as normal open test case studio pro you start doing your actions like let's say uh, we entered any value ABC dot then uh, we let's say right click on this field enter pizza and now let me just open this so you see that open website we entered ABC dot into enter name field right click on enter pizza so this will very normal like a test case it will record this statement so this is supporting normal shadow DOM now let us see shadow DOM which are inside like let's say iframe inside shadow DOM scenario before that I will show you simple iframe like let me just show you simple iframe as well and then uh, we will also see this uh, like iframe inside shadow DOM and uh, this as well like shadow DOM inside iframe as well I will show you all the scenarios so let me just first show this shadow DOM thing shadow DOM in iframe okay so here let me just open this test case studio is open now suppose if we enter some value here do you love tea yes lunch time okay so this is what we have entered in these two fields like let's say if I right click here so if it is recorded or not now let's see what has been recorded here so you see that <coughs> first statement open website then enter yes into do you love tea now here you see that this element is inside shadow DOM you got this information also it is letting you know that this element is inside iframe as well so you got to know that this element is inside shadow DOM and that is inside iframe as well so this way you will get a complete information and your complete sentence of like your recording is being recorded here so you get all the information whether it is inside shadow, just shadow DOM or inside iframe or both so you get all the information and then uh, like let's say if we close this so this we have seen that shadow DOM inside iframe now let me show you iframe inside shadow DOM or before let me just show you this is the iframe one just the iframe here let me just show the iframe now here let, let us uh, enter some value first crest let me enter selector sub then uh, current crust mine is like let's say for an example we enter testing daily here and have in destiny automation now you see that each and every step has been recorded here so open website enter selectors into this field and this is inside iframe it is letting you know 
so we have uh, like in this field you will at the end in of the sentence we are adding this whenever element is inside iframe it will add inside iframe enter testing daily it will let you know that it is inside iframe so this way because for iframe you will get xpath id css selector everything so that's where we are not adding that in xpath column we have added that value inside uh, in the sentence itself just to help you guys because later let's say uh, in future you are automating these test cases writing automation script so that right from the test case itself you will get to know that these elements were inside iframe so this is one so this is the simple one very simple iframe so we have seen that uh, normal shadow dom is working simple iframes are being recorded here this is the nested iframe as well so it is supporting nested iframe normal iframe single iframe and three iframes as well here single shadow dom nested shadow dom both it is supporting we have seen shadow dom inside iframe is supporting now we will see iframe in shadow dom so this is iframe in shadow dom just open it and here let's say we enter some value enter name sanjay enter destiny automation enter pizza name cheese and then let's say we right click on the here now you see that here you will get to know that enter sanjay into enter name so this element is just inside shadow dom then this element is inside iframe then press enter then we entered pizza name this is inside shadow dom so this way you get the information it will be able to basically capture everything now it will like none of the statement will be missing whenever you will be recording each and every action will be recorded here and you will get the information accordingly here if you ever face any challenge that looking at the element or something like that you can always open selector sub or and from there also you can get more information like if you want to see this you just inspect the element and you get more information if you want to not this way you want to see in the dom you can just open selector sub inspect the element and you will get all the information like here you see that it is telling you that inside iframe so you can see that this is inside iframe and if you scroll up that and try to inspect that iframe you will get to know that this iframe is inside shadow dom so you will get a lot more information so basically now test case studio pro will be able to record each and every action on all kinds of elements on your web page so this will be able to record uh, shadow dom iframe nested shadow dom nested iframe just that if shadow dom will be closed shadow dom so that we none of uh, like that is not possible to record close only close shadow dom generally that will not be there in your ui so do not worry about that rest everything it will be able to record now and if you face any challenge any problem you can always feel free to let us know you can always reach out to us on slack us website live chat or also you can write uh, contact us at support at selectorsub.com also uh, with this the test case studio pro will become the very first recorder plugin to support the uh, shadow dom like none of the recorder plugin out there supports the shadow dom now select uh, test case studio pro is able to record that as well so please check it out and you can check out the plans and everything here if you want to uh, upgrade or otherwise like if you are using the free version you can use the free version in free version iframe is iframe is supported shadow dom is not yet supported and to get started with the test case studio pro you just have to uh, like go to this test case studio pro page and here you can check out these steps just two three steps you have to follow to get started i hope you found this tutorial helpful and this new feature will definitely help you guys a lot thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on Selector Sub channel. Thank you.